Father, I just pray the right individual sees this video today. Father, don't let just anybody, but the one that you have chosen to see this right now, download in prophetic word and prayer concerning this individual's life. God gave me a vision concerning you and the betrayal and the lies that have been spoken over your life. The Father says that you have been betrayed far too many times. You've been being lied to way too many times. But God says you need to know something. And this is why God has sent me here. Now, what God is going to tell you next is going to cause you to save this video and share it with someone you really care about, as well as you're going to want to go receive your personal daily prophetic words at the end of this video. God has so many more things he wants to share with you. Now, what the Spirit of the Lord gave me was this. He gave me a scripture to encourage you, but also he gave me this word that's going to help you understand what he's doing for you in the middle of this betrayal and the middle of the lies that have been spoken over your life. Now, God sees your heart. Your heart has just almost been torn apart because of the lies and the betrayal. But the Lord said this as an encouragement to you. Just the same way as Joseph was sold into slavery, betrayed by the very ones that said they loved him, by his own family. Then he served in Potiphar's house. Then Potiphar's wife went and tried to seduce him, and he would not fall into the seducing. So Potiphar's wife went and falsely accused him betrayed him again. Once again, Joseph was betrayed and lied about. I see that the betrayals and the lies that have been over your life have been many, not just once, not just twice, sometimes two, three, or four times. But God sent this word here to encourage you today. Just like Joseph this is a symbolic, prophetic word concerning what God is doing in your life today. God says, in this season, you need to understand what I'm doing. You need not to be distracted by what's happening to you, but know who I am for you in my word. God says, as you treasure my word in your heart, when you think about the betrayals and the lies, what you put in your heart will come out your mouth. And what comes out your mouth will decree a thing that will be established in your life. And God says, I need you to treasure my word in your heart. That what comes forth out your mouth will only be the words I speak over your situation. That you don't speak as a victim or an orphan, but you speak as a son who understands just like Joseph would not fall into being seduced and even being lied about with the potential of even being put to, he did not fall into that temptation. And I prophesy is you as well, as you don't fall into the temptation to speak from an old dead man's perspective, but that you speak from a new man perspective, that you only speak that what the father is speaking, that you begin to decree only that what the father's decreeing, just like Joseph did. I prophesy over you in your life today that God is about to elevate you, just like he elevated Joseph. I'm telling you, just the same way as Joseph interpreted the dream for the, the Pharaoh, right? And it caused him to be put second in charge. I'm here to tell you, God's about to elevate you the same way. Now, God said this, I put the eyes of your enemies upon you for a reason, because they need to see in this moment, in this season, who I am for you, that they will repent and understand that I am for you and that I am your God. And I will come through for you, says the Lord, in a way that will blow your enemies' minds. But they need to see it so they can repent and believe. Because God says this is bigger than just you. This is bigger than just the betrayals and the lies. 
The distraction the enemy is trying to put over you is to get you focused on the betrayal, get you focused on the lie, get you focused on what happened to you. But God says you're not going to get distracted because this word is a right now word that's been sent to you that's going to allow you to step into your greatest moment and season of your life because you're going to decree what the Father says. You're going to get the word that the Father gave to you, the prophetic words. God has given to you and you're going to put them in your heart and they're going to come out your mouth. I want you to read first Timothy. I want you to read first Timothy chapter four, verses 12 through 15. I want you to notice in there that Timothy was told by his mentor, apostle Paul, Timothy, I want you to get this word in your heart. I want you to meditate on it. He says, and then he goes, I want you to fully give yourself to it. God is calling you to fully give yourself to what he has said about you, to only speak what he says, just like Joseph did. And God says, I'm going to elevate you. I'm going to set you up on high. I'm going to set the stage. I'm going to put you on the stage. I'm going to expose you before the men. I'm going to pull the curtains back. They're going to see my glory on your life. And God says, because you've been faithful to lift up my name, I'm going to lift your name up and elevate you in this season. Your elevation season is coming. Type it in the comments. My elevation season is coming. I want you to watch this three more times as your prophetic act of agreement and share this with somebody you know needs to hear this word today. And remember this. I love you. Go receive your personal daily prophetic words. Links in the profile, the description of this video.